Ever notice how every beginner hacker kind of fits into a specific type? It doesn't matter what country you're from or what terminal theme you're using, most of us go through these same weird phases when we're just starting out. Before we dive in, hit like and subscribe if you're even slightly into hacking Linux or cybersecurity. It helps more than you think, and I drop stuff like this all the time that actually makes sense, without the usual click this to hack NASA nonsense. All right, let's talk about the different types of hacking newbies. And yeah, you might see yourself in one of these. First up, the script kitty. This person copies a random command off Reddit or a sketchy YouTube video, pastes it into Kali, and waits for magic to happen. No clue what the command does, no idea what the error means, but if something breaks, they just reinstall the whole OS and call it a day. It's like trying to learn driving by flooring it into a wall. Then we have the tool collector. Their system is packed with every hacking tool known to mankind. They've cloned more GitHub repos than they've opened. But when you ask what any of those tools do, you get silence. Or a Google search. They treat tools like Pokemon, gotta collect them all, never actually use them. There's also the CTF addict. Solving challenges all day, bragging about leaderboard ranks, but don't ask them to explain a real-world attack. They know how to get the flag, but not what it means. It's like speedrunning a game you've never actually finished properly. CTFs are great, but they're not the whole game. Next, the Discord guru, always online, always asking questions. What's the best tool for Wi-Fi hacking? How do I become a hacker fast? They'll join 10 servers, drop 20 questions, and ignore all the answers unless someone spoon-feeds them. If Discord gave XP for asking questions, this person would be level 900. Then there's the notebook hacker. Their notes are a masterpiece, color-coded, organized, even bookmarked. But when it comes time to actually hack something, they blank out. It's all theory, no practice. They're basically preparing for an exam that doesn't exist. Neat notes, but zero hands-on skills. And of course, the Mr. Robot wannabe. You've seen them. Black hoodie, dark terminal theme, F-Society wallpaper. They act like they're in a hacker movie, but they're still figuring out how to exit Nano. Vibes, immaculate, skills, still loading. Being mysterious doesn't make you dangerous. Knowing what you're doing does. Then there's the one course hacker. Buys a single course, watches half of it, and suddenly starts talking like they're ready for red teaming. They never finish the course. They just bounce from one ultimate hacking boot camp to the next, chasing skills they never actually build. Next up, the chat GPT hacker. They ask AI how to hack Wi-Fi or Instagram and expect a full step-by-step -step with zero learning. Then they complain when it doesn't work. AI is a powerful tool, but it won't make you a hacker unless you put in the effort. You still gotta read, break stuff, and fix it yourself. Then we've got the Reddit philosopher. They don't do any actual hacking, but they have strong opinions on ethics, black hat versus white hat, and the morality of penetration testing. Meanwhile, they've never run Nmap or scanned a port. They're here for the philosophy, not the payloads. And finally, the I'm too young to start type. They wanna get into cybersecurity, but they keep saying, I'll start when I'm older or I'm not smart enough yet. So they just watch videos, scroll forums, and delay starting for no real reason. Look, most of us started like this. What matters is that you don't stay stuck there. That's exactly why I made a beginner cybersecurity guide to help people who are just getting started actually learn the basics properly. Real skills explained simply and with none of the gatekeeping. If you're ready to stop guessing and start understanding, it's linked below. Go check it out. And if you saw yourself in this video, don't worry, now you know where to begin.